Hello everyone, King Brown here. Um, going to talk today about camp ovens and Dutch ovens. Now, what is a Dutch oven? I get asked this a lot, actually, uh, around the shows. And I've seen it pop up on Facebook over the years. And uh, much to my delight, I've enjoyed reading the comments and what people say is a Dutch oven and what isn't a Dutch oven. And uh, I'd say 80% of them are completely wrong. <laughs> I don't know why people comment if they clearly have no knowledge of the subject, but that's what they do on Facebook. Uh, anyway, so what is it? What is it? What makes a, a Dutch oven? Well, if we lived in America, and all these pots were from over in America, they, they'd all be classified as Dutch ovens, because that's what they call their ovens over there, and always have done. Uh, we didn't even have any Dutch ovens, by the way, in Australia until the middle of the 1960s when China started to import them to here. We didn't have our Dutch ovens at all. We only had camp ovens. Um, now, the American Dutch oven, though, it is a different animal altogether to the Australian camp oven. Uh, the wall heights on the, on the American Dutch ovens tend to be a lot shallower, so the ovens aren't as deep, and the wall heights tend to be very steep too. Ours can be slanted out like that, and the American ones are very, very square, and the lids are always flat, not uh, cast, you know, moulded, into a domey shape like this fella over here. Uh, they're always dead flat, more like this one here, especially this one over here. This is an Australian made uh, old um, Albion oven. Very, very distinct dome on it. Um, well, a Dutch oven in America hasn't got anything like that on a lid. They have a very, very flat lid like this one under here. And the reason is because they also have little legs on their ovens. So they can sprinkle some coals over this lid and have something cooking in there, and then stack another Dutch oven on top of it. And the legs will stand proud uh, keeping the coals going, uh, proud of the coals, and uh, they can cook with another one, and then they can stack another one on top of that. Okay, so that's how they use the American Dutch ovens. Different animal, they, they use different recipes when they're cooking in them. Um, in comparison to what we do with Australian camp ovens, there's not a lot of similarities really, apart from the fact that they're metal and we use coals to cook with them. Other than that, they're completely different, as far as I'm concerned, anyway. Uh, so, what does make a Dutch oven in Australia? Okay, well. Um, some people say it's about the legs, but it's got nothing to do with the legs. This one here's got legs. This old Meta's oven. This Albion's had legs, but it's been cut off. And this camp oven here is from China. Uh, it has no legs at all. Uh, this little oven over here has no legs. Um, but this one over here, in actual fact, is the Dutch oven. All right, because it's all about the lid, uh, whether or not the lid can hold coals. And if you notice these three ovens here in front of me, they've all got a way, like a divot there in the the, the shape of the dome. Same on this one, it drops the dome, drops inside the oven and comes back up to the rim. So you can put coals on there and they can't roll out. They get caught on this rim. This one's got a lip around it. So you can put coals in there and they can't fall out. But if you put coals on the lid of this one, it just rolls off. So this one's actually a Dutch oven in Australian terminology. Uh, what's it used for? Well, we wouldn't use it for baking and roasting in a camp oven, that's for sure. Um, this traditionally is a sort of an oven that you would put a, a casserole in and then maybe put it into the combustion stove and bake it in there for a few hours. Okay, they're not really for camping, but people use them. And um, I often see people on Facebook and that putting up photos of food they've cooked in their Dutch oven and they've got coals in the ri on the lid. And that's fine. Uh, I don't care. If you want to use a Dutch oven while you're camping, that's fine. <clears throat> but I tell you, I, I do have to wonder, if you are interested in camp oven cooking, um, why use a Dutch oven? Just go to town and buy a camp oven. They're not very dear. I just don't get it why people would choose to use a Dutch oven uh, when it's clearly not a camp oven. Uh, but I suppose some people don't realise that either. And they get fond of their ovens, and I understand all that. Uh, but anyway, that is the difference, and it matters not to me if you use a Dutch oven or a camp oven, happy cooking. Um, I just don't like it when people put up pictures and say, oh, look, I've cooked my dinner in my camp oven, and it's a Dutch oven. And uh, I'll call you out on it every time because I'm a bit particular on the terminology, that's all.